this guy's bio is I'm tall and I have a job. Like how tall? How tall is tall enough for you? Cute smiley. 180-ish? Then I just made it. 184 on a good day. How tall are you? I don't date midgets. I like it. Daug? I'm 156. Ah, dwarfism is from 147, so you're good. Where are you? It says 65 kilometers away. I'm in at the moment. You? Ah, staycation? In Nah, I'm doing a project here. What kind of project? Building a villa for my client. Ah, cool. How long have you been a construction worker? <laughs> oh man. I would say instant seat at the pimp table. I like how she's probably so proud saying that she's building a villa for a client. It sounds pretty good. And he de degenerates her? No, that's not how you say it. He demotes her to a construction worker. I like two years now. You must be strong then. I don't do the work. I manage the whole plan. But yeah, I'm a strong woman indeed. Okay, the joke went straight over her head. Haha, I figured, oh yeah, you are strong. I was gonna be a bit rude and ask you your Insta. But now I'm scared you will beat me up. This I don't really like and you see it with guys all the time. As soon as it's time to take the number, the Instagram, the Snapchat, the LinkedIn, whatever platform you want to move to, then suddenly they like need to add in all these jokes and stuff as if, as if it's super scary to ask and she can feel this too Man up! ah but you're also the calmest female that was in her bio so i will probably be fine okay so you see the whole convo has been like short text and now when it's time to ask her out it's like oh i'm a little bit afraid but you're also calm i guess i'll be fine <laughs> And her response, I don't use Instagram. His response, oh. That is probably the most useless text you could have sent here. What do you expect her to, after your O, be like, but here's my phone number and my email and my home address. And by the way, my favorite position is this. These texts came from a guy in the Netherlands and he sent me these and I was like, what the hell are you doing? It's on. You just need to wrap it up. Tell her this. Okay, I'm clearly horrible at this texting thing. How about I take you out for a drink instead? Sparkles. Easy! And she goes, Okay, Papa. <laughs> Plan something and let me know. I will be around this weekend. <laughs> Ta -da! See, this guy thought his conversation was dead, but we turned it into a date with just one text. And if you also could use some help with your text or you're not always entirely sure what to say, Download my 10 texts that always work completely for free in the video description. What do you think guys? What kind of seat does this guy get? We saw some straight up pimping. We saw some simpish behavior, but overall a well-deserved seat at the pimp table. By the way, if you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is Louis Farfields, online dating coach. I have about 7 million people reading my blog articles on dating every year. And as you just discovered, I also have a tiny YouTube channel. Welcome, sit back, enjoy, relax, take notes, drink a coconut. And we received a blurred profile. Here's a woman designer, California native, living and designing in I love fitness, cooking, animals, art, history, fashion. I don't like the party scene and I find myself keeping busy with many creative projects to pass the time. My interests are art, design and documentaries. Milady doing some fitness and boxing. My personal hell is direct sunlight. Face mask. I'm known for being too honest. Mirror selfie. It's meant to be if your favorite color is black. I think a lot of people have black. Technically not a color. As their favorite color, so they're... So yeah, I was saying, I think a lot of people like black. So you're gonna have uh, one million soulmates. One billion. It's Bumble, so she begins. Hey, how are you? What the hell? This is one long opener. You must be new in place. Name. If not, I would have noticed you by now because of power outages wherever you go as the darkness of your soul sucks the light out of every power circuit while your white skin beams a clear path in whatever direction you're headed. If this was a copywriting essay, you'd get a zero because this is the longest sentence ever. What did we just read? Don't get me wrong, I actually quite like your vibe. Though my favorite color is green. Okay, I guess he's referring to her pale skin and she doesn't like light and black is her favorite color and his favorite color is green. She responds, Haha, oh, that's so cute. 
Okay, apparently this was cute to her. Maybe they understand each other better. I am just very confused. No, I am in this place. I stay in often or just do my usual routines. It's refreshing, you are tall. Short guys, go ahead, this is your cue. Rage in the comments. I know, it's quite breezy up here. Tell me something about your creative projects. This is the moment where he leans back in the convo and lets her do the talking after his huge ass opening speech. Well, I have a small fashion brand. I also develop recipes for certain diet restrictions. I'm going to be disappointed if dietary restrictions doesn't mean can only drink the blood of innocent children. What? Crying, living emoji, 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 heart emoji, and they're all cats. Whoa, you understand my humor. And then her number, and I guess an Instagram, something long. Am I the only one who is thoroughly confused by this conversation? And somehow these two people really feel each other? Okay, now I am really curious how this is gonna develop. Here. You seem to have good taste. Let's meet for a fresh glass of children's... Uh, I mean some drinks at... Wednesday or Friday evening. This is better. And guys, whenever you move a convo from whatever dating app to a new platform, you don't have to completely start over. You don't also suddenly have to stop putting in any effort and be boring. Refer back to the old conversation. Keep going on the same flow you were going in on the dating app. This is well done. Hey! Well, I don't drink, unfortunately. I just got to the gym. They may serve milk. Ah, <laughs> a little bit funny. That is so satanic, lol. I knew this would excite you. So... Can you scream that they have to subscribe? Subscribe. Sub <laughs> <laughs> I knew this would excite you. So how about it then? Milk at this place or tea at this place? Today I have full house of workers, I also just got a new phone so I'm activating my accounts. Later I have a meeting with my marketing team. Well, I would get so frustrated, this guy is making a very clear proposal with multiple options and she's just like, today I am doing this. And I get here his response, he's like, Friday or Sunday. Friday is good. There we go, was that so hard? Bueno, this time at this place. Very manly. I like. And here's the last part of this conversation. It seems to be the day of the meetup. See you shortly, name. Please do wear the glasses. Blackheart. Hey, oh my god, I forgot. My dog was recently injured. So I've been dealing with the veterans. Oh, I hate it so much when I forget that my dog was injured. I know that's not what she's actually saying. Sorry to hear about your dog. Have a great weekend. Debatable response, at least he's not butthurt. I wanted to ask you though, you know I'm transgender. <laughs>